the goal is if we have a communications uh, component on a satellite or on a jet plane, uh, how can we add some additional layers of security that prevent uh, adversaries from successfully executing a cyber attack against it? Hey, what if we apply moving target defense, which is using IP networks, to something like a serial based communication network such as MIL standard 1553? And the idea was first well received. Um, but as I started pitching it to different people, both internally and externally, um, I was told directly that it couldn't be done. And so for those of you who have seen the documentary Last Dance with Michael Jordan, I took that personally. We can kind of describe moving target defense through an analogy to someone who wants to rob a house. So if the robbers come by and they say you live at 100 Central Avenue, and they say that's the target we want to go after, but the next day it's 200, and so they don't know where to attack. We do the same kind of changing, but in a random manner in the cyber environment. We wanted to show that we could change addressing, but still perform the computation that you would typically do um, in particular space networks. So the idea here is we have this automated shuffling network. So in real time, all of these devices will periodically or sporadically shift their addresses. And so that way an attacker isn't able to quickly figure out, oh, this device moved to this address. What's novel about this particular implementation is that we're looking at uh, real-time operating systems. So airplanes, satellites, where if you make a small change to the operations or you introduce even milliseconds of delay, uh, it's not that my cat video on YouTube loads a few milliseconds slower, it's the jet doesn't get the information it needs and potentially crashes. If you still want to protect that network, you have to make sure you do it in a way where that latency is not adversely affected. And so we wanted to use on real hardware to show that we can employ this algorithm to protect the network, but we're also not adversely affecting the network. And that's what we have shown. They've designed this defense. Well, now we need to test it out and see, can an adversary figure out our random shuffling network? So my role was to work with the Purdue students um, to design machine learning algorithms to see if they can look at these historical data on what are the previous addresses that devices had hopped to, to see if using that they can predict what's the next address a device is going to move to. For right now, it seems like we're using state-of-the-art algorithms and they aren't able to break through, which is exciting. Being able to say that we can protect the electric grid, protect industrial control systems, protect military aircraft and space satellites, all using the same algorithm, and that hopefully in the future, it could become as commonplace as some of our encryption algorithms that we use today to protect banking transactions. It really becomes integrated into our society. We know our adversaries are consistently launching cyber attacks against critical assets. And so if we can actually uh, get this device on there and one day for one of those attacks, that would be the biggest payoff for me.